Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Carnage from the Monster Venom Wave. <clears throat> this is actually a really cool Carnage. Um, it's pretty much almost, I mean, it is exactly the same to me as the uh, first release from the Ultimate Green Goblin Wave, but it's cool that we're getting him now with more accessories, the alternate, you know, uh, Cletus head there. Um, it's very cool, especially if you haven't picked it up from that way back uh, Ultimate Green Goblin Wave. So it's a great chance to get another Carnage figure without paying crazy third-party prices. So I'll go ahead and check out the details. All right, guys, so first off, we'll start off with the two hands. So he just has two regular, um, you know, open client clawing hands. These are actually the original hands that the uh, first release came with. It's a very cool. And then we also get the Cletus head here, which looks great. I really like how this turned out. It's got a very freaky, intense smile. Mine's got decent eyes, not like derpy or anything like that. But it looks really cool. It doesn't really have any uh, paint detailing on the hair. Uh, it's just got a good sculpt, though. Looks very cool. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, I've always wanted like wish we got like a prison jumpsuit body, like for like a Punisher, or I think this would look good for him, too. All right, so getting into Carnage. Uh, it looks really cool. It's a really nice figure. Again, it's, you know, the same one that we've seen. I really like the, uh, you know, the, ten the tentacles kind of coming off the back here. This is, um, let's see, the this is a little bit different, a little more uh, wild. And then same thing with on. Actually, I think it's exactly the, sorry, the same, just the way the packaging came out, made them stick out a little more. But I love the... Uh, axe or like you know big blade here and the more elongated fingers i think that's really cool this is how i'm going to keep mine but we'll go ahead and go over the details of the face here instead of me rambling on about little bits of everything uh it's got a really cool head sculpt same one that we've seen um sorry i'm just trying to make sure the lighting's good uh mine on this one has a pretty good paint job um you can see a little bit of the red showing let's get a little closer up here so you guys can see what i'm talking about Right there on the mouth, you can see some red showing. Uh, it's got some little blemishes on the eyes, but overall, I mean, it's got a nice sculpt. You can see the eyes are actually sculpted in. It's not just uh, paint there. Overall, it looks really cool. I like the open mouth. Um, but yeah, just a little sloppy paint on the front there. But I like all the black kind of going over the top of the head here, coming down the neck. I think that looks really cool. Same thing with on the chest. Very cool. This is more of a darker red uh, plastic, but I really like how all this has been painted on. This looks really good. It's not, it's pretty clean. Um, it's not really blotchy on any spots so far. Let's see what the sides here. Mm, nope, I thought that was a missing piece on his butt, but it looks like that's what it's supposed to be. It's a little smeared right there, but not too bad. At least it's on the back coming down i mean it looks really cool i really like that black i think that looks really nice especially if my camera would focus but very cool and then the tent the you know the little tentacles coming off uh these don't come off or anything but it is a really nice uh, look i think that's really cool you see there's kind of molded and placed in there so i think on this hand but you can see on this hand it looks really cool like how it's got this one little drip coming off the pointer finger but i just love how long the fingers are compared to um the normal hand just so you can get a little difference very cool and this just looks sick i love this i do wish there was some black on here just like the rest of the body i think that would have been really nice but um it just looks really cool like how you can kind of see the fingers in there or actually it's a fist sorry look like fingers at first but i was I caught myself uh, but it just looks really cool. It kind of goes into that whole shape and it gets kind of smooth, but you can see kind of like a pointier blade and it's kind of dripping down on this side. Very cool. Really like this. But if it had that black on there, oh, that would have been awesome. And it's got some more of them kind of hanging off the sides of his legs here. All right. So we're going to go over the articulation. Also, this can uh, pull off. Actually, I think. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the back that just kind of plugs in there. It fits nice and snug. Uh, so his head looks up. Let me get the arm out of the way, sorry. Looks up all the way. Looks down very far. Looks left and right and kind of has that side tilt. Not too much, actually. Nope, not really any side tilt. I thought felt like it was. Got ball joints in the shoulders. Move down, forward, and back. Nice and clicky. I love it. 
upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, also hinge at the wrist. Whereas this wrist, this wrist only goes up and down this way, not not that way. So you can kind of see the difference. So that's kind of cool. You can get them like whoosh, whoosh. Uh, ab crunch. And it also has the waist swivel. It's spread about that much, and you can kick about that high. It's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up. He does have a nice ankle rocker and pegles bottom the feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Carnage is. All right, so Carnage stands right around a little over six inches tall. And then here he is next to the first release from the Ultimate Green, Green Goblin Wave. So you can kind of see there, um, his reds, definitely in the body here, is a little bit darker. But overall, it's the same uh, paint on the body here. Um, you can see here, it's also, he's been given uh, same coils on the forearms, where on this larger hand, it has the coil coming off. But you can definitely tell on the back here. It's a little looser on the back of mine on this one. Uh, the tentacles are um, the same, but they're just, this one's just been more folded down from the packaging. Same thing with on the upper arm here, same. And on the legs, they are also the same. But I will say on the figures themselves, the eyes on the first release for um, the Ultimate Green Goblin is more of a per pearlized white, opposed to just a more of a flat white. I don't know if the camera is gonna be picking that up, but you can kind of see this is more of a white where this has kind of got a little bit of a shimmer to it. But otherwise, they're exactly the same. And then also, I'll go ahead and show you guys next to the uh, Spider Carnage. So you guys get that little comparison too. Same hands again. But very cool. Overall, I think this is a great uh, Carnage figure. Ah, they're stuck together. Um, I think it's a very cool Carnage figure, especially if you did not get the uh, first release. I think this is a way better version just, just for the sheer fact that he comes with so many more accessories. The first release came with zero besides the one the little you know tentacles on the back that would come off. But I just love how this one actually has weapons, you know, with the more you know, elongated fingers and the, this is just sick. But there you go, guys. That's my review on Carnage. I definitely think he's worth getting. Um, even if you don't plan on building the Build-A-Figure, I think he's worth still picking up. He's not crazy uh, priced yet. I feel like once he is really hard to find, once he is really not out there, because um, I think you can still order this wave on Barnes & Noble, uh, I think he will go up in value. And then if he slacked on it, I think he'll have some regrets. But there you go, guys. Hope you... Oh. I'll go ahead and show you guys with the Cletus head on so you guys can see that before I come to an end on this review. Oh man, watch me struggle. I'm just gonna pop the head on and then I'll show you. All right, there you go. Looks really cool, kind of more sinister, you know, especially without the uh, head there or the regular, you know, carnage head. I think it looks pretty freaky with them all covered up except that, you know, very evil looking grin, but very cool. All right, guys, I'll let you guys go. Thanks again for watching, especially if you stayed to the end. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Hit the like button and subscribe.